So here's the turtle from day 24. I'm going to show you the action from the front. I'm going to show you the action from the back. And kind of like from the bottom, so you can see these, how the crank pulls the slider and then releases. I would describe it as having about three different elements. So one element is what I'm calling the slider, which is this whole popsicle stick. stick. So it goes back and forth and is constrained um, inside these pieces of wood. So there's a slit where it fits, where it fits, and then on top it has a piece of wood so that is constrained in between this point and this point. And it also won't get out of that groove. And then, so that's, the, that's like the main element. Then the other important element is the opening and closing of the mouth. And the way that's happening is there is a hinge that is constructed with a single piece of wire that goes through the bottom, then comes out this way, and then it holds that bottom mandible with a little loop. So in action like that. And in order to make it open when it pulls back, it the hinge has this sort of extra lever arm. So when it goes back, this piece of paper pushes it like that. So the paper there was convenient because it was flexible. It allowed me to have a hinge right here. And it was it's a little bit stiff. I made it stiff by gluing a double piece of paper there. So as it goes back, this arm pu pu pushes the, the lever up. And as it goes forward, it pulls it. So it maintains, it opens and closes the mouth. So that's for the mouth mechanism. And uh, now for the crank. So here, it's important that when the slider returns to this position, there is a gap where that crank can go in. And so as the, as the crank comes in, then it pulls and then it releases at this point. And the whole slider is being, um, it has that spring motion thanks to this rubber band. So the rubber band is attached on a hook right there to the main block and on a hook on that slider. So in order to make that hook, I drill the hole through and then a hole back. And that same hook is doing this double work of being the stopper. So as the slider reaches this point, then that's, that's what stops it from going even further. And then this notch is where my crank goes. And then finally, the crank, it's a fairly simple crank. It's just uh, your usual crank shape. Um, I just doubled or tripled the pieces of wood here, so it would have a, a place for the axle to be straight. So that's the basic idea. I'm going to put the rubber band back on. So I get my slider, my mouth motion, and the crank that opens and releases. Hope that helps.